Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian, back again with another Artist Influence video. Today I want to talk to you guys about a subject that really encompasses all different areas of your dancing, and it's something just that we call quality over quantity. Now, it seems like a simple thing, right? Quality over quantity, but it has so many different levels to it. So I'm going to break it down for each individual part of your dancing. So quality over quantity when it comes to, let's take, let's say, taking class, all right? You can take a million classes, right? You can take a million classes in a billion different styles, but if the classes you're taking aren't going to benefit your growth, your individual growth as a dancer, and this kind of goes back to something I talked to you in an earlier video about how to tell if the classes you're taking are really benefiting you, then you're kind of wasting your time and you're wasting your money. So you want to make sure that whenever you step into dance class, you have a quality mentality. You're there to work at 100% of your ability. You're not there to talk to anyone. You're not there to, to socialize. You're there to train. Because if you want to do this professionally, like I said, there's a definite gap between like the recreational dancer and the professional dancer and how you have to approach your training. You've got to approach it just like a job. So you're there, you're paying tuition, and you have to get the value out of that class. So quality of class over quantity wins every, every day. But with that being said, you still want to have a good quantity of different styles of classes you're taking because they're going to benefit you in different areas of your movement. But just keep that in mind, the quality of the classes you're taking. Take note of the teachers. Watch the class first. See what the level is. See what the material is. Sometimes stepping into a class that's way out of your league is not going to benefit you so much because you're not going to have time to really grasp and understand the knowledge that they're giving you. So sometimes it's almost better to just step back to a lower level until you feel proficient at that and then you can step up. So again, it's not a rabbit race, it's always the tortoise that wins the race in this, okay? So take your time and quality of classes over quantity. Now, quality over quantity when it comes to performing, this is a whole nother different thing, okay? I'm gonna name two dancers for you guys and I want you guys to check them out on YouTube because they're great people to watch in terms of quality of movement over quantity of movement, all right? The first dancer is a male dancer. His name is Nick Bass. He's danced for Justin Timberlake for years. He's danced for Janet Jackson. He's done pretty much everything in the industry that a male commercial dancer can do. Now, Nick is someone who is all about quality over quantity of movement, all right? It's simple but effective things. When you watch him perform, he doesn't have to do a whole bunch of huge movements and really big things to get your attention. He can just look at you with a small little click of his head and he gets his point across. So, quality over quantity. Female dancer you guys need to check out. Galen Hooks. You spell her name G-L or G-A-L-E-N H-O-O-K-S. All right, Galen Hooks is another dancer who's performed with literally everyone in the entertainment industry, okay? She's a veteran of the commercial dance world. And she's another person to watch. When you watch her classes, it could be a song that has so many beats in it, but she won't choose to hit every beat. She'll choose to start in a nice, interesting pose and come out of it nice and slow and engage your attention that way. So if you think of dance as a conversation, you wouldn't go up to someone and say, hey, what's up, how you doing, what's going on, and try to get your point across. You would approach them slow with quality and say, hey, how are you, what's going on, and start having a conversation that way. So quality of a movement over quantity when you're performing every time. You don't have to do the most to get your point across. Sometimes doing the most makes you look ridiculous next to someone who's doing the least. Yeah, so be smart with that and pick and choose your, your um, instances to use all of your energy and to go full out and to do really big athletic movements, but then also utilize the ability to just pull it back and do some simple but effective stuff, all right? Quality over quantity when it comes to choreography. Now this is primarily a, a vlog series for the professional dancer, but I know there's a lot of people watching this that are into choreography too. When you make choreographic choices, it's really easy to get in the mind state of, I want to hit every beat in the music, and I want to do the most stuff, right? And there's people that do that very well. Yeah, you can go on YouTube, you can find all those people doing that very well, but the difference is, is it memorable? And does it connect with the average person? So the biggest thing about being a performer is you want to be able to connect with the average person, the person who has no clue what a wave is, the person who has no clue what a pop is or a hit is, right? A person who has no clue what jazz is, what ballet is, what any of the techniques that we spend years learning is. You want to make dance relatable to them too. And the way you do that is by quality movement over quantity movement, right? It just goes back to that same idea of having a conversation with someone. 
You're not going to get your point across if you're yelling at the top of your lungs. You want to be concise, you want to be clear, and you want to be focused in your delivery of your movement. Okay? So think about that when it comes to all the areas of your dancing, guys, because it really will help. And just having that little mental thought in the back of your head when you're choreographing or you're at an audition, you're about to go out in your group and you're about to audition or you're taking class will help you make smarter choices as a dancer. Everyone always talks about choices and dancers making smart choices and being smart dancers. Well, this is what it comes down to. It's understanding that you don't have to do the most to get your point across. You can do just enough. You can do it really well, you can do it very precisely, and you can do it clearly so that you get your point across to your audience and you make them feel something because that's what dance is about. It's not about who did the coolest move. It's about did I make you feel something? Did I make you go home after the performance and think a different way? Did I inspire you? That's what this art is about. Art is not about showing off. It's about connecting with people, okay? So quality over quantity, all right? So that's going to be the artist, in a, the artist influence for this week. Really, really take that to heart and practice it in all the areas of your dancing, okay? So next time you're freestyling, think about quality over quantity. Next time you're taking class and you're learning the routine, you're learning the choreography, think about am I doing these moves with the quality that the teacher wants, right? I would rather you guys, me personally as a teacher, and I know many teachers believe the same way, we would rather have you guys be in our class and get two moves exactly the way we want it rather than getting all the moves not at all like we want it, okay? So just remember, quality over quantity. We'll see you guys back for the next Artist Influence.